welcome back speak your truth family syt fam if you're new remember to like share and subscribe welcome 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 this week we talked about body image of course we're still in the series of first love yourself and tonight for such an night special we have a very special person of course it's ban again we're gone wide we're gone clear this is a musical artist he has three albums out the latest one being grand rising we look out for big great things for him listen this man is amazing like him lyrically just insane he's of course first a christian he's a man of god loves God and he'll tell you so himself. He's also interested in entrepreneurship and philanthropy. He's a brainchild of Born Again Ministries and he's looking out for great things to, to widen his ministry and to impact the lives of our young people. So let's listen as Born Again speaks as he delivers to us his art forms. He's very pro-art and I love, love that about who he is as a person. And he'll talk to us today about body image. Let's go. So we we'll meet you here, and um, this is my first time on Speak Your Truth. I'm here to speak tonight on body image. All right? Now, I'm sure when I said that, a lot of things popped in my mind. However, um, the Lord has led me to look at it from a very peculiar angle. Um, and this is, I want you to follow my thesis, okay? Now, picture body in, a, in relating to the feminine, so females, and then image relating to the masculine, male, all right? Um, why I'm doing this um, analogy or you know assessment is that I've studied two life's experiences that when, when somebody, when a man is, is growing up and, you know, he's, he's, he's concerned about his body, yes, but he's more like concerned about his image in terms of how do people see me. Um, we, we, we tend to try to put, put across a macho kind of a, um, deportment, you know, for people to see me as mm -hmm, a tough guy, you know. Um, when I walk through the streets, I might step a certain way because I want to be seen as, you know, this is my image. And image is everything. But then for females, um, you know, the concern is normally lying, relying around the body. You know, oh, if she has enough boss, or, you know, oh, that girl have more package than that girl, you know. You know, so it's really, for females, it's about the body. And for males, it's about the image. The style. Um, so, with that said, um, I want to highlight a passage of scripture that speaks on, you know, when God said the, the, in Genesis where it says, We were created in His image. Yeah? And His likeness, of course. Um, but I wanted to emphasize image. Now, what we see happening today is young men are on a quest to find their image. And, and so what they're doing is trying to define it by not going according to what God created it to be. So if God created and gave you his image, then what you should be projecting is the image of God. However, we are trying to protect the image of Vibes Cartel. You know, we bleach out his skin, we put on tattoo, cut off a pants, you know what I mean, clocks. You know what I mean? Every youth now, when you go in the street, you can see a whole school of them just projecting these images. Everybody wants to look like, oh, some kind of a rap star or some kind of some kind of an image that is projected on the TV screen. A thug-like image. You know what I mean? Chilling on your neck. Yeah, this is what I look like. This is who I am. This is my status. This is all male. It's all about our ego. Versus females now who, after growing up, they usually tend to find them being very more flirtatious. They're trying to become the next Beyonce. They, you know, they extend the eyelashes. They put. They become so caught up in this, in the, in in in, in idolizing their body that they, they start putting on extra bows. They try to do surgery, you know, to do all of this and and to 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 make an impact. 
No, all of this I can guarantee you that it's a quest to find something that is already in them. But the enemy, he seeks to kill, steal and destroy. So what he does, he, gives, he, he uses media to project these ideologies that we, we aspire to become when really and truly the image of God and what he has already created us to be is inside of us. So, I, I tend to try to speak from that angle as a minister of the gospel, you know, I want to be a rap music. And that's the reason why I do rap is because I believe that it speaks to the young mind. And I try to allow them to see the light. And the light means that this is what God really caused you, called you to be. Not that that you see on BET. Not that what you see on, 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 on the TV screen. Not, not that image that you hear the artist singing about and projecting. But he called you to be a peculiar people. Royal priesthood. You know what that means? It means that you could you come from royalty, you're related to royalty in a, in a righteous and divine way. And if we sometimes try to tell this to the youth, it might sound strange. But um, what I do is I try my best to project it through lyrics and song. So this art piece that I'm going to present to you tonight, it's speaking to image and body. The first verse is about a young girl who got molested and she grew up searching for love in all the wrong places. She, it, her life spiraled out of control. She started dressing flirtatious, trying to attract love. And not knowing that dressing flirtatious is just attracting men who want sex. And then after being through several relationships, she feels like she has no worth. So it leads to suicidal efforts. The next verse speaks of young men who feel like they need to be in the street and they need to be in the club and popping bottles in order to be the man when really and truly God has called you to be authors and you, God has called you to speak to the masses. God has called you to lead and be kings. And so I'm here to ask you that when you look at me, can you see the light? Can you see somebody who realizes that I am the image of God? And can you see it as being cool? You know, I remember when I was younger, I was going to high school and I used to wear my backpack all the way along, you know, just bouncing on my butt like that. You know, I was walking, the little nerdy boy at school and I had a friend who was like, he was a cool guy. And he's like, yo, you can't wear your bag like that, yo. You need to pull up the strap. So, you know, you transport the right or so. You know, you're like, yeah, you're cool. And, you know, start walk a certain way on the corridor. So I started to do all of that. And to this day, sometimes when I walk, people say, oh, you walk on bones like that. And I was like, I've been practicing this all through my high school teenage years. But that was just an image that was projected to me. That was not who God wanted me to be or God designed me to be. I'm telling somebody tonight that's watching this program that who God created you to be is more important than what is projected on these TV screens and what is projected to the music. Listen to positive things, let positive things come into your mind. And trust me, you'll be blessed. Here's a piece. Thank you, Yana Positive, for inviting me. Born Again Ministries, you don't know. Check out this piece. Born Again. Can you see the light? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Just some things you gotta think about. We don't need things to enjoy life. We need life to enjoy things. That's real talk, man. Feel me? Let's go. Ah, I'm an artist, so you wanna see pictures I painted? Close your eyes, look with your heart, stretch your imagination. These rhythms are like empty canvases, patiently waiting. Music is the ride, I'ma use it to deliver the nation. Hey, look at Shorty, she's smiling, nobody knows she's faking. Got raised at an early age by your very parent. The first chance they had to love turned out to be tainted. Affected, so we start reflecting in the fashion statement. Her innocence was taken, so she tried to replace it. But end up looking for love in all the wrong places. Tattoo engravings, where's the pain? It's like she felt nothing. And when that didn't work, she started self-cutting. Blood gushing from her veins, she said, Lord, take me. That's the last thing that she remembers saying. Next thing she knew, she woke up to a nurse praying. IVs in her veins in the hospital, dead lady. Look at me. I'm hoping now you see the light. I'm really hoping now you see the light. I know you're broken and you're feeling bright. Jesus is knocking at your heart door. Won't you let him excite? I'm hoping now you see the light. 
the light. I'm really hoping that you see the light. You could have never made it through the night. There's a reason why you're still breathing. Risky Jesus, he can give you life. See, I'm an artist, but I don't paint pretty pictures. My words so real, you can feel them when I spit it at you. To get my point across, I break the rules a little richer. Record a track, now look at that. I'm a little richer. I never thought I'd see the day when so much people would pay for tickets. But yeah, they really want to kick it with you. But hey, what can I say? It was already your day. Holy Spirit proclaimed that I will be your teacher. So I'm no longer on the corner slinging jugs. Passing forces while pretending that we give it hugs. I change my songs around. Instead of guns, I give them God. No longer a thug, but the streets still give me love. So I'm out here posted up like I used to. Purpose on my mission, I was trying to get the juice to. No God for themselves, love them cause they choose to. Not cause I said it, but you read it in the food book. I'm hoping now you see the light. Look at me, I'm hoping now you see the light. Clubbing the floss and then you feel the hype. But you decided there's something saying, I ain't feeling right. Oh. I'm hoping now you see the light. I'm really hoping now you see the light. You feel the heartless in the world of darkness. But when you look at me, I pray that you can see the Christ. Skip this air that let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine that men may see your good works. Glorify your Father which is in heaven. So when I say, can you see the light? I hope you know what I mean. All right, family, did you enjoy that? Yes, we enjoy that. Boy, this man, this man can talk, he can sing, why he can do me no more. But we thank Bon again from, for coming and gracing this humble platform with his presence. We know you're big, sir. We know you're large, and we just thank you for coming. So, thank you once again, SYT fam, for the support, for the love. Me day, I'm feel it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We love you. See you next time. Same place.